Hello, welcome to Termite Machine Works. My name is Keith. Uh, no, I still haven't made a spark in my plasma cam, but I did get a spark under my butt. Get the uh, artistic juices flowing yesterday, and I created a sculpture of what I think a pop free handheld torch mount should look like. Now, I started out and I was in. The idea, and this is in the 2006 catalog, the up and down axis and the bracket coming out was basically the same kind of thinking uh, with clamping individual torches, which is good to cover a large variety of torches, okay? So, but I don't have a large variety of torches, I only have one torch and that's what brought me to this. So I took this kind of thinking and I put it back in where the thinking came from. And this is what I created, breakaway torch. With this torch design that I've created here, I now have the security or the insurance against hitting something and popping loose. Uh, instead of hitting something solid and breaking something loose. Or I have the convenience of popping the torch loose and changing out my consumables and then popping the torch back in. Or I can change my nozzles and my tools that I use in a freehand mode are all attachable without even taking this bracket off. All right, uh, we put this on a scale just to see how much weight this piece actually is because while we're at this thing, I mean, this is incorporating steel and aluminum. And originally I thought, you know, let's uh, just change a few things out of here and we'll make this thing pop in and out. Uh, we would still have this clumbersome item on the torch itself uh, and it's not real comfortable to grab and uh, use as a handheld torch. This weighs approximately a pound and a quarter, I believe that's what I read on the scale there. And this unit as is, without any lightning holes or without any material removed here, uh, where I think I can, I can get away with uh, uh, reducing some weight, this weighs a little under a half a pound. And I believe I can probably lighten this and lighten my accessories on here and the whole thing can be down under a half a pound. Okay? Now this just slides in and locks. I mean, it, it's in there good. Okay? You hold it into the dimple there. Push it into the dimple there. And each one of those equal out of each other and it locates dead center again. Now that's in there pretty snug, and I'm gonna do some tests, but when you start creating heat and everything else, this might become swell and it may become loose. But as right now, I believe that this item, once you put your zip tie right there, holding the trigger tight, you're, you're holding enough pressure on the handle that it's not gonna come loose down in here. But I may put a band and a wing nut type of attachment in here. Uh, that's, in the, that's in the drawing. Also, I'm not real keen on kinking up a cord here and bringing it on into here. Uh, and also, too, when it pops free, that's, I think, excess force and restricting its movement here. This is about a foot difference in here, and I'm going to bring this up in a gradual scoop, and its main anchor point up at the top is going to be exactly one foot back from the top mount there. Uh, still mount at the top of the post, uh, but uh, I think I'm going to change that out. Um, I still have all table motions. I'm still able to get to everywhere on the table, plus a little bit on the outside. So when I set up my machine for zero and all of that, uh, I'm not going to have any problem there. There's, there's a lot of improvements that can be done on this. But right now, in one day's effort, I've created a breakaway 
handheld torch mount that is ready to run right now. Now I'm uh, I'm not really a production kind of person. Uh, I I will go to sleep in production. I need excitement. I need uh, the challenge. Uh, uh, that I like the pressures. Uh, that's that's the uh, job atmosphere that I'm accustomed to. This was burned in my head. I've had a lot of time to think about it. In fact, actually, because I've wanted this machine for six years. I mean, you can see I got a 2006 catalog just floating around the shop. Actually, I got one on the hopper, one under the armrest of my truck, one on my desk, one on top of the plastic cutter. I, they're all over. I, uh, I've wanted this for a long time. and. Uh, I had a comment that somebody said, uh, you know, how can you do that? You have never seen the machine before. Um, I've seen the machine. Uh, I, I see it in different eyes. I'm not looking into marketing uh, this as a product. I built this so that I could have reasonable safety and less destruction, more cost effective as far as uh, escaping damage, convenience, time of changing out. Those are all things that you don't think of as one individual item. There is new designs in breakaways on uh, straight torch application, designed by respectable owners of plasma machines in the community of plasma cutting, and uh, they got damn good ideas. That, um, I'm not ready to give up my handheld torch. Uh, one, I'm not mentally ready to give it up right now and I financially can't uh, uh, create a machine and torch application that stays with the machine all the time. I will always have that 3D uh, shape uh, sitting on the table, a box, a container, uh, a channel something that cannot fit on the table and be cut, and I need to cut it by hand, so I want to be able to grab my torch and do that. Now, I have a working model, and it's gonna, it's gonna take some, uh, you know, some modifications to uh, continue it on. We don't want it to get stale, like the Volkswagen Beetle, or uh, the Bridgeport Mill. Uh, those are items that went stale for a period of time because they couldn't get out of the box thinking going on. And uh, this can, this can uh, definitely, uh, uh, lead off to, uh, you know, I think a nice workable uh, piece. Now, I'm not going to do the production work, but if somebody's interested in, uh, uh, you know, working on uh, creating a production part off of my creation here, uh, and needs a little assistance on the uh, R&D, I'm going to be performing the R&D on this, uh, this part here, uh, you know, I'll get a hold of him. There's a little bit of walking the talk, and I'd say that's a get her done.